happy Saturday. It is January 25th. It is just about 8 a.m. And I just wanted to quickly check in, kick off this week's vlog here and say good morning. I'm headed to boxing. Um, I go to Overthrow in Brooklyn, which if you follow me on Instagram, you know how obsessed I am with it. So I won't go too much on a rant. If you know, you know. Nonetheless, I just wanted to share with you guys today's workout look. It is another, of course, Fabletics number. And this is like a pinky, corally number. It has nice little mesh sides. And then, of course, some side pockets, which are always nice. And I believe this is a part of their Power Holds collection, which is perfect for, again, like super high intensity workouts, which boxing is at least at overthrow. It is not a game. You absolutely need to be strapped down and ready to go. So I'm going to obviously be wearing that. And per usual, I will be just putting on a hoodie and my puff coat and um, yeah, going to get this workout in. So I just wanted to say good morning. I hope you guys enjoyed last week's vlog. I know it was a little longer um, than the first vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know and I will check back in a little later. Bye. just wanted to hop on and share with you guys two things that I just got in the mail about uh, maybe an hour ago. So as I mentioned in my last vlog, you guys know that Isabel Moran is one of my favorite designers and also mentioned um, I do try and possibly invest in a piece or two when it is sale season if the sale price is right and of course if it's something that I really love. So I received two packages today, one from ShopBob and then one from Neiman Marcus. And I know the item that I got from ShopBob I will be keeping. However, this sweater, which is from Neiman Marcus, I am on the fence about. So the sweater is Isabel Morant Etoile, which if you're not familiar with her or you are, you know that Isabel Morant Etoile is more so like her ready to wear. Um, definitely considered less expensive, even though it is still absolutely expensive um but then there's also isabel morant which is more so like the collection runway pieces so the dress is isabel morant etoile i got it for like 70 75 percent off from shop Bob. i love it i'm keeping it however this sweater um and this is my first isabel morant like collection piece that i've ever ordered this was 80 percent off but it is still extremely expensive i think the retail price was like 1200 dollars, which is insane like what are you talking about? $1,200 for a sweater? No, ma'am. But it was 80% off. It was still very expensive, which is why I'm on the fence about keeping it. So here's why I'm a little bit concerned about keeping it. I wish it was one size bigger. This is a 42, a French 42, which is equivalent to a US 10. And let's also keep in mind that it is not a true US 10 because of course these pieces run small. So I wish it was a US 12. I do love it, but I do wish it was one size bigger. And I'm sure you guys may be like, no, Chanel, it fits perfectly. And it does, it fits good, but I just know me and I know how I like my things to fit. And something like this, um, it wouldn't even fit oversized because the cut of the sweater is not meant to be oversized, but I do wish it just was one size bigger. I love the fact that it is slightly cropped because it's easier to tuck into high waist jeans, which I would definitely do. So I do love that. I do love the signature shoulder, which we all know Isabel does. That is literally one of her go-to designs is her signature strong shoulder. And um, that's actually where Zara gets a lot of its inspiration from. I don't know, you guys. I do love it. It's made really well. And it's actually a little bit richer. The color is not picking up as true um, due to like my lighting. And it's actually like a really gloomy day here in New York. It is a truer um like citron color in person so that I do love and again I do love the details it is made beautifully but I just wish it was a size bigger but then I don't know a part of me is like does it really need to be a size bigger I don't know so let me know what you guys think. I'm really at a place right now with my wardrobe. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I have been selling so much um, to my Poshmark closet. I feel like I'm at a place where I don't 
hate my wardrobe but I don't love my wardrobe so I've really been selling things that I just don't wear enough or just don't love so I don't know I want to only keep things and buy things I feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of not just this season but several seasons to come especially when things are still really expensive so I don't know let me know what you guys think I have to go to Neiman Marcus next week so I only have a couple of days to really think about it so maybe I'll style it up and see how I like it but I don't know we'll see good morning everyone happy Sunday so I am headed to church and just thought I would quickly hop on here and share what I am wearing for the day it's nothing crazy it's nothing super fancy my coat is a little fancy but um, my outfit itself is actually really simple so I'm just wearing my stand studio coat I have been getting so much wear and love out of this piece I cannot tell you literally I cannot tell you how many questions and compliments I get on this coat every single time that I wear it um <clears throat> excuse me um I know it is sold out at this point however if I can find something similar I will leave it linked down below so wearing Stan Studio Coat Vintage Fendi you guys know I've just been wearing this because it just works I have on an Alexander Wang Uniqlo bodysuit it's not that cold out like it's cold but it's not ridiculously cold so I just have on this bodysuit and then I have on my new Zara slouchy denim jeans and for my shoes, I'm just going to be wearing my Nike Air Max sneakers. And I know this isn't the best way to showcase my outfit. I'm still trying to figure out a way where I can wear or show you guys my head to toe outfit um, while being in my room because this is my room. But again, we don't do shoes in the apartment. And I know I mentioned possibly getting like a rug to stand on. But the fact of the matter is I would have to like put the shoes on, take the video, and then take them off and still walk to the door with no shoes. I don't know. It's a lot. So I'm still trying to figure it out. But yeah, I'm just wearing some sneakers. So yeah, it's a little sporty, but again, the coat makes it fun. And um, yeah, that is it. And I will talk to you guys in a minute. I also forgot to mention that I'm wearing the Zara hammered hoop earrings. I'm really happy this is a better look I know at the last time I showed you guys these you couldn't really tell what they look like but this is a much better look of the earrings good morning everyone happy Monday it is Monday January 27th it is just after 8 o'clock and I am headed to another workout, obviously. Um, today's workout is spin. I do go to Flywheel in Brooklyn and it's definitely probably one of my harder workouts. I enjoy it, but it definitely like is very high intensity. If anyone has ever taken a spin class, then you know it's, it's not a game. So headed to spin and then I will come back. I have um, laundry to do today and whenever I do my laundry and I do my laundry, every single week um i do like a deep clean in my apartment before i go and do laundry i have to head to the post office to mail off some poshmark sales and then i will come back get my laundry um do my laundry and then do my deep clean and then i post a couple of more things to my poshmark closet and um just a couple of other things that i need to do but i feel like that's going to be the majority of the day i have a pretty open week this week so I have a lot of things that just personally I need to get done since I'm not traveling this week. Um, it's nice. I'm learning as a freelancer to have certain days or certain weeks where you don't travel and you can just get done your personal things as opposed to like every single day, Monday through Friday, um, you know, you have to go to work. So that is a plus to this freelance life. I don't know if I'm all the way here for it, but still, um, it is definitely something I'm thankful for. And um, yeah, I really don't know how much I'm going to be vlogging this week. This week, you guys, it's looking pretty dry. So I think I will come on and do like a little bit of a chit chat later this week just about like fashion and consumerism. It's something I've wanted to talk about for a while. And I feel like because I am selling a lot of things right now, um, maybe it's an appropriate time to talk about it. So I don't know, maybe later on this week, I will come back on and do like a chit chat with you guys. Um, I think you guys possibly might enjoy. But as for today, this is the look. Also, Fabletics Reversible Coat. 
the outside is nylon the inside is fleece and obviously you can reverse it so and i'm putting on a hoodie under this as well with that being said i will talk to you guys a little later check in and say hello as I really have not been vlogging much over the past couple of days. I think I've mentioned in last week's vlog that this week was going to be a pretty quiet week just in regards to work. I wasn't going to Philly and then I'm not going to the city this week um, for work. So I've just been making it a point to get done like my personal things and to-do list and all that. So that is pretty much how I spent the first half of the day. It is 1.40. And I have literally been knocking out things since 8.30 this morning. So I just thought I would check in with you guys and say hello. I am in the kitchen at the moment, obviously. Um, but I'm just doing a little bit of meal prep for later. I just cut up some string beans. And I'm just going to um, cut up some more vegetables for my roasted vegetable salad recipe. Um, I have leftover, well not leftover, but remaining vegetables from the Trader Joe's haul. From last week so i'm just going to eat the rest of that tonight before it goes bad um but yeah that was really it you guys i just wanted to say hi i've just been in a really somber state i guess or mood over the past couple of days i'm sure at this point we all know about the passing of kobe and his beautiful daughter and the other i think seven victims whose lives were lost over the weekend um and i've just been in like a really somber mood if I'm just being honest I don't really know how to describe it um, as I'm sure you guys probably feel or have felt it just is like it's sad and it's it's sad that it's a reminder that life is so short and I know we say that and we hear that all the time life is short life is short but it, it always unfortunately becomes more of a reminder when someone like this passes uh, I remember feeling these feelings last year, and I know so many people probably can say same, um, when Nipsey Hussle died. And it was, I think, the exact same weekend. It was Grammy weekend. And although I knew who he was, I had heard his music, um, I wasn't like a huge Nipsey Hussle fan. However, his death, I felt it. And I remember so many people were being like, this just hits different. And that's how I have been feeling with the passing of Kobe and his daughter. So I don't know. I just haven't been in like the mood to film or to vlog. Um, and honestly, I really haven't had much to vlog. But I just, my spirits have been not low, but I've just been in a place where I've just been praying a lot more and just reminding myself that every single minute is a blessing. Like, even if it's a minute that we don't enjoy, even if it's a minute where, I, where we're at to work and we're being annoyed, even if it's a minute where we're stuck in traffic, even if it's a minute where we're just blown, it's a blessing because, girl, like you could not have that minute, you know? So I don't know. I can go on a whole like tangent about that, but that's where I've been mentally over the past couple of days, but I just thought I would still check in and say hi. I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, I know I'm not looking the hottest right now. I know this angle and this lighting isn't the best, but I'm in the kitchen and I just thought I would check in with you guys. So this is what you're gonna get. <laughs> and at some point later today, I do wanna sit and just film a little bit and talk to you guys about my style, I guess, and this like weird transition, I guess you could say that's happening right now. I have been selling so many things, like I said, on my Poshmark closet. And I just, I'm like not sure where my style is going right now. Like I have pieces in my closet that I love and would not sell anytime soon. But I've just been waking up and literally have been like, eh, don't love you anymore. Like I'm over you. So I've been selling it and I've gotten quite a few DMs on Instagram of people you know saying like why are you selling this why are you telling that it's such a great piece it's such an investment piece and my thing is this regardless of if I paid two dollars for something or two thousand dollars for something if I'm not getting my 
wear out of it, if I'm not getting my cost per wear and my use out of it, I'm selling it. Like I can't tell you how many luxury things I have sold over the years because I don't wear it. And I am not someone who just keeps things. That is not me, that has never been me. Um, if you've watched years ago my my video on how I like declutter and edit my wardrobe, you would, like I've mentioned, I hate clutter. I hate looking at things that I'm not wearing. It just makes me nervous. And I don't know, it just does something to my brain when I look at things that I'm not wearing and they're just collecting dust. Can I do it? I've been that way my whole life, so. For those of you who have asked me why I've been selling certain things that I guess most people would just hang on to, that is why. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'll probably come back on in a little bit, again, somewhere else where the lighting is better and kind of just talk a little bit more about where my style is and I don't know, I feel like what it is I even want out of my style, I don't even know, that's the thing. Like I don't even know what's happening. I just know I look at certain things and I'm like, nope, gotta go. I'll check back in in a little bit and maybe we can deep dive into it. So, bye. I just wanted to hop back on here and kind of continue, I guess, the conversation we were having in regards to my style and this phase, this transition, this period that I'm in right now where I don't, I don't hate all of my clothes. I won't say that. Um, I actually have a lot of pieces in my wardrobe and just shoe collection, bag collection, whatever that I love and would not sell anytime soon. Um, but I'm definitely going through like a thing right now where I just, I don't love everything that I have and I've been posting everything that I haven't been wearing, haven't been using, haven't been loving. And I think for me, and this is something that I have been more mindful of over the past year or so is contentment and not feeling like I need everything or I want everything. And it's oh actually okay to want certain things. It's not like wrong that you want a new bag or a new dress or a new pair of shoes. There's nothing wrong with it. But I think for me, and if I'm just being honest, it's okay, I want this, but then the want going to a need. Because the fact of the matter is I don't need much of anything like i definitely need some new shirts that's for sure um like basic t-shirts but i think again just overall i'm trying to get to a place of contentment and not feeling like oh my god this is on trend or oh my gosh this is so cute or she styled it so cute i would totally get a ton of wear out of it or you know oh this is on sale and it's something i've been wanting so let me get it like i don't know just all of the things that i feel like I kind of make up in my mind that will justify a purchase um, and then six months later I've only worn it twice or I haven't worn it at all or I've worn it a couple of times but I haven't really gotten my cost per wear out of it so I end up selling it for 75% off or whatever the case may be so not only am I in this like weird place right now with my style and just feeling like what like what am I doing with my style what's happening what's going on what is she like what do you love what don't you love I also am just trying to practice being more content with what I have and really looking at my wardrobe and saying okay what do you need like when you get dressed on a daily basis what is it that you feel like you're lacking and for me at this very moment I absolutely need more t-shirts like stylish cute everyday t-shirts definitely need another pair of jeans i literally have one pair of jeans like i kid you not as god is my witness i have one pair of jeans they are my a gold crisscross jeans and i am obsessed they are the best pair of jeans i've ever had and i am not a big denim person like jeans person i've never been a really big jeans person um and they are amazing they're expensive they're like 250 dollars, but they are by fair my favorite by far my favorite pair of jeans however they're my only pair of jeans so i'm like okay i don't want to spend 250 on another pair of jeans but could i go for the black version of that jean yes and would i get a ton of wear out of it probably because of how much wear i've gotten out of the blue so I'm really just, I say all that to say, I'm really trying to just make it a point to look at my wardrobe and really think about the things that I 
wear every day that make my life easier when I get dressed and say, okay, until you buy those five staple things that you need, you cannot buy this dress. You cannot buy this coat. Like it doesn't make sense. So I'm trying to be better about buying things that I only genuinely need. And I know I say that with quotation marks because yes, I need shirts, but do I need shirts? No. That doesn't make sense, but it does in my mind. So that's that's what it is. I'm in this weird transition with my personal style. I don't really know where she's going. I'm trying to practice being more content with the things that I have and not just wanting, 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 buying, buying, buying. And also, I'm trying to be better about buying things that I actually need as opposed to buying things that I want. And then when I get dressed, I don't have enough jeans or I don't have enough t-shirts because I was being silly and decided to buy this dress as cute as it is and yeah I may wear it a couple of times that money could have went towards five t-shirts you know cute t-shirts don't get it twisted we're not talking about basic Hanes t-shirts which is no shade but cute t-shirts ultimately I'm definitely like a little all over the place with my wardrobe I'm not even gonna lie which has also prevented me from creating content and I think just overall, I know I've mentioned in the first vlog that creating content in general has been like burdensome over the past year and a half for me. But I also think it's because I haven't really been loving my style. So I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a weird place. And at this moment, I know I shared with you guys some things I got from Zara. Um, last week that I love, I actually wore the jeans to church, the rose colored jeans to church the other day, loved them. Um, and it's like, okay, did I need those? No, but they were at a good price and I know I would get a ton of wear out of them. Um, so I guess I should say I now have two pair of jeans because the A golds and now those are ones, but I wish I can like thoroughly explain myself, but I can't because again, I don't know what's going on with my wardrobe, so I can't even possibly explain it. But I think for me overall at this moment, contentment is the biggest word. Um, not looking or feeling as though I just need, 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 want, want, want. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but I think it's when personally I go into, oh, I really want that dress. And then I start to justify it as a need. That's where I go wrong. So I don't know, you guys. I'm a little just, like I said, all over the place when it comes to my style right now, which unfortunately has stopped me from creating content because I don't feel like I have clothes that I want to shoot and that I feel good in and that I just feel like are cute I mean don't, don't get me wrong I have cute clothes I 100% do so I do take that back however I do feel as though I don't have things that are like blog worthy that's probably a better way of saying it I don't have things or I don't feel like I have things and I know feelings are fickle I know that um but I guess I just I don't know. I look at my clothes and I'm like, I don't want to wear you. I don't like you. Like, why are you here? You know, I'm not going to talk too much more about it because it's been like six minutes of a, a random rant about clothes. But I think, again, overall contentment and just looking at the things that I really do need and putting those as priority over the things that I just want. Anyways, that's that. I'll check in with you guys a little later. Good morning, everyone. I thought I would just hop on here and say hello. Um, I know I didn't do any filming yesterday, and I think I did, I think I did on Tuesday. I can't remember, but I think I did on Tuesday, but I am getting some work done. I am deep diving into this freelance tax life, which I have not known much about. So I am educating myself just on all the things tax related when you are working for yourself. And I am also going to update the blog. That is something I've needed to do for a while. Um, and I think I will share a post on some things that I would like to get for spring, summer 2020. As you guys know, I had a whole rant the other day just about my style and where it's going and I don't know where it's going. So I do have my eye on a couple of things, nothing crazy um, that I do think I want to at some point get for spring summer so i will do a blog post that should be up possibly early next week so if it's up tomorrow i will leave a link down below but if not i will leave it next week so that is really it you guys i got some work done from home yesterday uh felt very productive yesterday so 
trying to knock out today's to-do list but I just thought I would come on here and say hello and what do I have for tomorrow tomorrow is grocery shopping I might be meeting a friend for coffee and I think I'm honestly going to end the vlog maybe here today that is it I am gonna go and I will check back in a little later